You bet. Thank you for allowing me to record this session today. Happy to do it. Always happy to support coach learning. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So as we get started today, I'm wondering how you're coming in. Oh, that's a great question. So as you know, I've been on a little bit of a, a journey this year and I'm coming out of some of the challenges I've had to face. So I think I'm coming in in a very hopeful place mm. and, and also a place where I feel like how do you, I still have like a little bit of like letting go and how do I move forward? How do I get back to myself a bit more? um as i as i look ahead so a little bit of that go forward healing i guess is what's up up for me as i think about where i'm at today yeah i'm curious about your use of the word go forward or the hyphenated word i guess go forward healing as opposed to go back healing what's the difference for you uh i'm like done thinking about the past like i you know, I've, I've overthought it. I've woken up in the middle of the night thinking about it. I've done all the things I've beat it to death. Um, I found some resolution for myself. And so I want to stop dwelling in that. Like, I think even I talked to my dad, as I went through some of this situation, he's funny. He's like, you're like me where you're dealing with something. You're like in it. You're like, uh -huh immersed in it you're fully processing it and I think there's some healthiness to that right I didn't yeah. run away I faced it I embraced it <laughs> as much as like <laughs> embrace it that's a funny word um, <laughs> I did all those things um, and so I'm ready to like put that behind me mm. yeah even as you're talking about it and so what's happening is like okay you're in it and you're embracing or immersed in it and yep. living it and I also, it also sounds like you want to embrace and live the letting go of it. Yes. And so how does, how does that then relate to healing forward? What's the, what's the bridge there? Um, I, I think a lot, like, as I've gone through this year, it's been a lot of like leaning into good coping mechanisms, mm -hmm. leaning into some un unhealthy coping mechanisms. And so I think part of it is like, how do I, and, and some of that was good, but part of what was hard, I think through all this is just staying really connected to yourself. And as I say that, I, I feel myself like smiling a little bit and a little sad, you know, like losing the connection makes me like a little tearful and like, I feel a little choked up, but then yeah. that idea of reconnecting with self, mm -hmm. there's calmness and peace and, and joy. Yeah. In you, like happy in you. joy. Yeah. In you Here, right now. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's funny that I'm pointing to my heart because my heart was what was so broken through all this. Yeah. But I feel, I feel like a wholeness coming back to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so as we just dwell in this moment right here, that, that place in your heart with the, with the joy and with the peace and with that little bit of sadness, what, what is that like in there? It's all of those things you just said. Mm -hmm. it, it, is, it, it is all of that. Mm -hmm. And like, I want to lean more into that joy part of it because I feel like that's the place that I get to live in more now. Like, it's, mm -hmm. and I was reading some poetry this weekend, which is something I also added to my coping mechanisms mm -hmm. <laughs> the last year, which was fabulous. Uh, Cause I used to love to, to read poetry, but I had, had gotten away from it. 
And one of the poems was about that healing process and that like returning to those joyful moments. Yeah, yeah. And how it just like, oh, this is joyful. Like yeah. I'm, I'm back here again. And like, still like, and there was another insight about you can't force the letting go. It has to just naturally happen. And so I think what I want to practice for myself is just like that staying with myself as I go through that. Yeah. Because when I feel like, and it goes back to you and I explored some of the different parts of myself and like being very aware of those different parts of myself has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. Like I've been starting to think, okay, that part of myself whose needs weren't getting met. Yeah. I check in with her every day. Like, how are you doing today? <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, are, are your needs getting met much better now? Like you're, you're in a, you're in a better place. So like checking into with those different parts of myself has been helpful to staying with myself. And I think that's really, as I look ahead, like this concept of staying with myself is I like, I hear a lot of coaching sessions of like, oh, I want to like do healthier behaviors. I want to do these things. And when I think about that for me, what's behind that is the staying with myself. Yeah, staying with myself, staying with yourself. Yeah. And, and through this whole journey, getting to this place where staying with myself, staying with yourself is um, a place that you can trust, it sounds like. Yeah. That's true. I was listening to a podcast and they're like, you know, you're getting good help when they tell you to trust yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, like that's always a good telltale of like, don't, it's not trust me, it's trust yourself. And, and I think that that's, that is the place that I want to come to mm -hmm. and continue in is trusting self. And, you know, like my plate is fuller now, my life is, it's going to be very easy to fall back into routines but there's a staying with myself that I learned through this process that I don't want to lose. Mm -hmm. yeah. If that makes sense. That sounds really powerful. That um, may I say it back to you and see what just what the impact yeah. is when yeah, I stay hold with on. you. Let me, let me prepare to take this in. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I want to hear that. There's a place that's really powerful when I stay with myself. Yeah. And I want to hold on to that. What happens for you is you hear it from me, from your know, ears, hear it from my voice. I, I feel more grounded and I feel that stability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And honestly, as I, I've gone through this past year, it's been, there's always been this stable base beneath that to some extent, like it's like whirling feelings and all mm -hmm. these things and a kind of like, you're, you're going to like, I could see the story before it, it finished, if that makes sense. Like I could hear myself someday telling the story of you did this, this thing, Beth, and yeah. it turned out here and that's how you got here. And isn't it amazing? Like you went through all that, but now you're here. Like I could hear that come out of it. And now I'm to that point, like that, that's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it is really cool. It is cool. I could go to, I, how did you get here, Beth? Oh, well, let me tell you how I got here. <laughs> it was a journey. It was definitely a journey. Mm -hmm. And we can hear where all those words sort of come from, you know, because when you're fully immersed in it, that's really what's happening. But there's something about this groundedness that I just I want to deepen it as I yeah. go forward and yeah. and hold on to that connectedness to myself that connectedness to yourself yeah so as we've um talked so far in this conversation and sort of pulling back pulling in some of those previous conversations and where you are now you started by saying I want to do a healing forward and now you're at a place of being connected in myself and hold on to that. What feels like the most important thing that 
we spend time on today in service of what you're wanting? I think one of the things that, that helps me is even just playing with what does that self-connected feel like? Mm -hmm. How do you know when you're there? How do you know when you're not there? Like even in the journey of just telling the little story, I could feel myself the churn and then back to yeah. the grounded. Uh, yeah. And there's a little bit of like paying attention to how do I feel into that space? And I'm having a flashback. I think you and I did this a little bit in a coaching session. I don't remember what it is, but I do remember sitting <laughs> like it was a different body stance, even that I think we played with more of like a like just paying attention to where that is in my body so that I can mm -hmm. tap into it when I need to speak up for myself, when I yeah. need to face that hard thing or say that hard thing or mm -hmm. whatever it is that I have to deal with. Um, whenever it is you, making sure I get this, whenever it is you want to come back to yourself. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. In the face of those things that are happening. Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah, like being true to myself and like all those different parts of myself that mm -hmm. I we talked about too. Yeah. It's like, like, well, don't ignore that part of yourself. Speak for that part of yourself. Don't yeah. and do it from this very connected place of knowing, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Or at least like a, a more of a clear, a clear head and a and a calm center, which you and I talked about this, like I always felt like, oh, I got to this great place. And then it's like, life is here to teach you something different. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how, how do I take that lesson and carry that forward in a way that will support me in having those healthier behaviors? Because I, I think part of there, there's healthy dissociation that I think I've done yeah. over the last year. And then there's unhealthy dissociation, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. go be in nature. Maybe that's a little bit of a grounding thing, but also it's a distraction. It's like a thing, having a glass of wine, having a cookie, like those are not so healthy or, or watching something extra on TV. Like those mm -hmm. are maybe less healthy in, if you're not doing it in moderation. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like when I am in my more centered self, it's easier to make those healthier choices for myself too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we move into a place of discovery around that today, you know, like just try on a couple of different things, um, what aspect would be it, of the many that you've talked about, what aspect would be the place for us to start? there's a little bit of me that's exploring times when I'm, I'm feeling less connected where I'm feeling like, Oh my God, I'm done. Like, mm -hmm. just get me out. Like the, there's a, a little bit of me that's going into, cause like it's easier to tap into this when it's early in the morning, which it is right now. And when I'm well rested and I had a great weekend, give me a kale salad. Like that's, <laughs> those are easy things to do right now. Yeah. And at the same time, I can tap into that time. And probably the worst time for me is like five o'clock, mm -hmm. like that transition from work to, to mom. Mm -hmm. That's where I like have a, a minor, like, oh my God, like, I don't, my email's not clean. I need to switch to this. Or I just like got off all these calls. Like I, I need like, that, that's, that's, that is like a hard moment for me at that end of the day where I am less connected to myself and probably making less than wise choices for myself. Yeah. So that transition point, it sounds like what, the, what leads up to it and what it's potentially coming after that transition point so that you still choose the kale salad or maybe not even you can still choose the cookie but do it with intention rather than with intention yeah. yeah 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 
Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down, you know, that, that place of um, when the conditions are right for me to make a less than a, the less than optimal choice that I want, how do I, using your words, how do I stay when connected me. to me? Yeah. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So how could we do that? You talked about embodiment. You talked about talking different parts of you. We've got plenty of room. We can stand up. We can sit. What's a way that we could do this that would be evocative for you? Hmm. I like the permission to play a little. <laughs> um, honestly, there's a little bit of like maybe playing with that in a, in a physical way, like having to leave, this is my workstation that I'm at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I can kind of get myself into this place where I'm like, Oh my God, that, that call just put me over the edge. Like I can, I can kind of get into that space sitting here, but part of me is like, how do I intentionally walk? Like, yeah. get, how do I get up uh -huh. in a way that lets me leave that here? Oh my gosh. And that's like a microcosm of leaving the past behind, right? Like <laughs> in the, in the day versus like the whole year, which I'm also working on, but like, mm -hmm. but okay. right. The practice of yeah. leaving yeah. something here and going on to what's next. Letting, yeah. Letting it go. Yeah. yeah. So we, we could just slow that portion down yeah. and see what happens and then take it from there. Oh my God. I just got like stressed thinking about getting out of my chair. Yeah. Like, yeah. I could feel it. Yeah. And what's in that for you, the stress of leaving your chair? Um, unfinished work. Mm -hmm. um, like, unfinished work, unfinished business, like, and there's a little bit of, even as I'm going into this new version of my work situation, I have um, new challenges, right? Like, I have 14 new people on my team. Mm -hmm. They're all coming in with different things. So like, um, there's a little bit of like, carrying a little bit of their emotional baggage mm -hmm. that I can feel that like I need I want like the closure here so I can go up there oh. but yeah so having the closure here so you can go out there what finishes this or does it leave some things unfinished but closed I think my problem is I want this all to be closed and it's not and then when it's the end of the day there's a little bit of like I, de I deserve that cookie <laughs> yeah that hard that was a shitty yeah. like not a shitty day honestly my days are pretty good it's joyful but there's hard things that we're doing yeah and there's a little bit of like I don't want to do some of those hard things like I'm done doing hard things for a little bit go eat a cookie <laughs> <laughs> Well, as we, uh, and my invitation is to go back in where you yeah. were in that place of leaving your chair. Yeah. So that we maybe slow that down just a little bit so that we can see what the reach toward the cookie is or isn't. Yeah. Oh, that's a good thought. So, so maybe go inside yourself a little bit more rather than in your head thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And an idea might be to turn and slowly get up and see what's evoked in you as you turn and get up. Okay, let me see if I can get in that spot. So I'm noticing it's interesting because it's like early and I'm fresh, you know, like I mm -hmm. have, like it's, it feels e easier right yes. now, which there's yes. like, there's actually like learning in that. Mm -hmm. 
because I'm coming from it from a fuller bucket. Yeah. But if I think of myself at the end of the day, the bucket is like it's been filled up and emptied throughout the day in various levels. So what's in there that you can take with you to later in the day? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually turn and stand mm -hmm. and see what happens. Okay. okay, and what would you like me to do? Just be with, um, you, with you, or do it with you, or something else. Will you Will you watch me mm -hmm. and just look at like my if you notice anything about mm -hmm. how I how I do that? Okay, so I'm I'm like. Hmm. You can stay over there. I can probably still hear you before you sit down again. Yeah. What's going on for you right now that you've stood up and left? I'm getting ready for being a mom. Uh -huh. And what does that mean inside of you? Like there's a lot of goodness over there, but there's also a lot of more emotional labor too. Oh, so it sounds like turning on additional parts of yourself that are needed. I don't know. That might not sound right. Yeah, it's 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 that, but it's also the cookie is like, oh my god, I need to cope with having to do more of more. Of, more but once I'm there I'm actually fine like mm -hmm. if I didn't eat the cookie and I just gave myself 30 minutes to go to that other role I'd be like oh this is delightful uh, I like this role yeah I love my kids like of course right and they're old now they're like so fun but that transition at, at first feels heavy mm -hmm. may I show you what you asked me to watch may yeah. I show you what it looked like yeah please okay I'm gonna unplug my headset so that then my sound quality might change I'll plug it back in but that way I can I can do it I'm going to go I'll go this way oh yeah. so again it was It was intense. Yeah, it was intense when I like I felt my lips getting tight. Mm -hmm. And I felt myself like it's like this moment of like forcing the next thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's like forcing myself to shut this off so I can go do what I really want to do. Mm -hmm. As I think about that world, like. I call it emotional labor, but a lot of it is not. It's the thing I prefer to do. I mean, I love so much of my job, but that's my family. Like, yeah. it's. So we don't have to figure it out. Yeah. I'm going to invite you to stay inside just for a moment to see if you can experience this a different way. It doesn't have to be the final way, but a different way. Yeah so that you can mine for what is potentially new that you might try rather than do it the same way that you always do it. Yeah. Okay. So as you come back to yourself and come back to your own core, a couple of things that you've mentioned along the way, you mentioned there are things that are not closed. You've said that there's things that are unfinished when you watched me I leave you said that looked intense and it felt intense what's possible from this place right now I'm I'm kind of thinking about when I've had that, in, and I know I'm in my head, I've, I'm thinking about when I have that intensity, it's usually when it's like, 
back to back calls till the end of the day and I don't have like time at the end of the day because if I had like and I'm get kind of feeling this like if I was done with all my calls and I had like an hour to ret feel like the closure which this is like the dream state this getting up would feel <laughs> like light like it's like oh that's all done on to the next joyful thing mm-hmm. um because I do love a lot of what I get to do it's just a lot sometimes um and in that hour may not be possible in all situations yeah so what, what are other ways to get up with that cl- lightness that, yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, and whatever needs to lead up to it to close the things that need to be closed even if they're not finished so that you can intentionally leave I think there's almost like a grounding that I feel like I need to do before I step away, even if it's not done. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of like, like putting the pin in it (laughs) or like, Mm -hmm. okay, this is, this is where I'm stopping today. And as you're saying it, notice what goes on in your body. Mm Mm-hmm. That I mean, that felt like this is where we're stopping, like felt like peaceful, like closing mm-hmm. down the things. And now getting up feels easier and lighter. Like I don't want a glass of wine. I don't want a cookie. I don't feel like I need to like do so those things. It, Although I am give hungry. Give it I a go. Hung- I do feel hungry. Like... <laughs> Give it a go and see what happens yeah. as you get up later. That we, you don't have to think okay. it through. You could actually do it through. Do it. I'm going to do it through. Okay. So maybe the whole thing. Close it out. Okay. I'm going to. It's interesting because I also feel like there is, a, I feel like a child, like I think I need a little snack, like a healthy snack, because I yeah. feel like by the time I get to the end of the day, I'm, I'm like getting hangry yeah. and then I have to go <laughs> parent and I would parent and do everything a lot. Like I realize if I eat a healthy dinner right away, mm-hmm. all of those desires for the other things go, goes away to some extent. Mm-hmm. So there's, and this goes with, it's almost like a, this feels calming, mm-hmm. but there's also like a step that I feel like of a refueling that has to happen or yeah. And that can be part of your ritual or your transition Making something process. Healthy to eat. God, I really, I could really, um, yeah. If I could have anything, I, if someone could just make me dinner every night, that would be like my dream <laughs> come true. Because I, I think honestly, making dinner is a little triggering. It's like, oh my God, like, I don't want to make dinner. I want to go see my family. That's actually a stressful thing. It's like, oh, like, I don't want to make dinner. Like, oh, why is dinner so upsetting? Apparently I need to eat. Probably I'm hangry too. So it's like, there's something... When I, I, that's funny how I, I can experience that even just as we sit here. Yeah. 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 So what was that second standing up for you with the closed down? That's where you recognize the hunger that you have specifically at the end of the day and this around making dinner. What is there in that part of this process that is possibly possible differently when I stood up and I did did that I felt like a want like I have a want that needs to be fulfilled yeah yeah before I go do all the other things Mm -hmm. and I think it might literally be hungry (laughs) yeah sure (laughs) which is ridiculous um and hilarious but 
or it could just be like that anchor like and I don't know what like I feel like I need to anchor to something because making a whole meal feels overwhelming yeah yeah so as you I come think back that's to why. yourself now yeah what could that anchor be This sounds weird, but I feel like I could make a cup of tea. I don't really want coffee that late in the day, although sometimes when I've had a decaf coffee right at that moment, it like makes me feel like, oh, I got this. I can do like it's I don't know if it's the ritual or just some sustenance or something like maybe a little caffeine, something like that. But I, I don't really want to have two coffees a day. I'm more of a mm -hmm. one coffee a day person, but I feel like. If I could find something healthy to anchor to right there, whether it's a cup of tea or like a healthy snack, maybe it's like a piece of fruit or something like, I feel like if I anchor to something right in that moment, that's simple, mm -hmm. it would help with that transition. Yeah. Um, and, and your idea is simple. I'm hearkening back to what you said. Ugh, I don't want to make dinner. So yeah. If it's something that you have to elaborately make, I wonder I how successful that would be. Yeah. No. Got to be as easy as eating a cookie or pouring a glass of wine. If it's mm -hmm. as easy as one of those things, I think I can do it. Yeah. So is making a cup of tea easy? Yeah. In your world? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, Very easy. And is there, is grabbing something healthy, a fruit or a vegetable or whatever, is that easy? Or is that hard in your kitchen? It's easy, but I can't think of what I would want. So I feel like the tea is something that I can start with that. Like it, I really want a whole dinner at that point. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it's kind of silly to me. I think I'm hungry. And it's like, but it's that transition that's yeah. really hard. Um, I, I'm getting it. Yeah, it's the it's from here to there. There, yeah. It's and it's that, funny because my office is all the way on the side of my house, mm -hmm. and over there is the rest of my house. Hmm. So there's a little commute there. <laughs> That's funny. I do have a huge commute to decompress on. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Like that's that's what's missing for me is like that transition. Mm -hmm. If I had 20 minutes in the car and, and actually I found myself also when I get distracted by like the kids have to go somewhere or do something like that, where I get like an immediate new thing to do. Yeah. That helps with that transition, especially if it's something that like, Oh, I want to help my kid do that. Oh, we get to go to volleyball tonight. Yeah. I'm excited. Like, I can't wait to get in the car and go. Like, those things help with that transition. Mm -hmm. But even when those good things are happening, there's still that, like, little moment of, I think I, I'm, and well, and if I go back to where I started, I'm not staying with myself. Mm -hmm. I'm also um, wondering, um, if there might be a way to have your tea making in the a, pl a specific place, like is the tea making part of the exiting journey? Is the tea making, does that happen in your office? Does that happen in your house? Does that happen in the commute between? Like how can that tea making part of the process support what you're wanting to happen in that transition? That's interesting because I think if I, it's almost as I visualize that happening, I'm, do you mind if I walk it real quick? Like, sure. I, I wanna... See you in a moment. Mm -hmm. And as you're doing it, just notice what's happening in yourself as you're doing it. Just that was really kind of an pay attention to your core. Okay. I was an in between a joyful leave and a the next thing leave.
there's a little bit of it like if I get out there before I make the tea mm -hmm. it's not gonna work as well like there's almost like a little bit of like can I do it right here mm -hmm. before I leave my office mm -hmm. almost like can I do the centering here before I go because I don't have a long commute. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a case for back to office. Um, I'm just kidding. I don't believe <laughs> um, Maybe making a case for a tea caddy in your room. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I'm seeing. Like, I can almost see it right here where I just move it from the kitchen to here. And I feel like I could try that today because, and even if it's, Maybe not the perfect, like, I don't know if that'll be the silver bullet, but it's the act of that slowing down that, that transition mm -hmm. and being more connected to myself. Like I am this, like this morning, it's easy to feel that it's easier to get there mm -hmm. um, versus the end of the day where you've lost, like you're fatigued, you've, right. you're ready for dinner, you're, you have needs, but your kids have needs and you're husband has needs and your dog is whining at you to stop working yeah and so between one reality and another reality now it sounds like there's a tea ceremony i love that actually yeah and there's a little bit of me that as i picture that let's say i fail at my tea ceremony I have like I anchored to a spot in the corner before I leave the office oh. where I visualize it happening where I'm like uh -huh. I need to get grounded right here mm -hmm. before I get caught up in that whirlwind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that knowing can help that look like other things too. Okay. I'm, yeah, that feels helpful. I, it's funny. I've been noticing that moment in myself at the end of the day. And like, I've noticed when I am better and when I'm worse, um, but I haven't gotten intentional about how do I do the things that I know help bring me to that better place. Yeah. 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 We need to move to close in just a few minutes. I'm just wondering mm -hmm. where you are anchored to yourself right here in this moment. The, well, there's a little bit of like closure to the session that's happening, but the closure to the journey that you and I have been on just mm -hmm. over the last year, like there's all the, there's that little bit of sadness still there. I can feel it. Yeah, and I, I can feel it in me too. But there's joy and there's tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's tea. There's tea. And it's when I go, well, it's funny, back is over here today. Like mm -hmm. this is back. That's getting smaller. And the groundedness is getting deeper. And I'm holding on to that deeper groundedness that I've developed even before kind of, or as I went through all of that. And honestly, some things feel easier because of that. Like mm. now that I have that groundedness, so I feel like this will actually be easier now too. Oh. The, this and this is, is the T, this is the moving forward. This is the, all, all the, that, that good stuff. Yeah. So what feels next at this moment? I I think it's just playing with mm -hmm. this in a very literal way because like yeah. that energy actually works with how, how my physical space is set up. Yeah. 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 And it and it feels joyful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Like I'm excited about what's possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joyful, excited. And like all of that still exists back here. Yeah. And at the same time. Yeah. There's this grounded center and then there's the forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And some of the things I've been taking from what you're saying is going forward with the grounded center as opposed to now leaving it leaving here. the past, leaving the grounded center, <laughs> and now I'm off doing something else. Yeah. But taking that grounded center as part of who you are. Well, it's funny, I was having the same thought of like there's a little bit of like that motion that I want to go, I want to go with this motion. Like my whole mm -hmm. body wants to go with that mm -hmm. now. And is your grounded center part of that? Yeah. Part? That's why my <laughs> trunk wanted to move. Like, uh -huh. the, my, like I couldn't, as I was doing this motion, I didn't feel right just doing it as my head. Yeah. I wanted to do it as my whole self. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. Yeah. That, that just yeah that's it, it's a nice place to be yeah, yeah. It's and it's a nice place to be with you as well you know, yeah. this has been a really um uh impactful session about how you want to let go of some things and carry some things and using your words from before heal forward yeah so before we finish today, is there anything else that you want to make sure is uh, part of our time together? No, I, I feel very complete. I feel like my whole body can get up and go. <laughs> get up and go. <laughs> yeah. Stand on that spot and get some tea. Yes, yes. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa.